name is Jennifer Ottersbach. Um, I go by Jennifer, sometimes Jen, but mostly Jennifer. Um, definitely not Jenny. <laughs> um, my hometown, uh, I grew up in Louisville and lived in Crestwood, Kentucky for a while before I moved to Bowling Green for four years for school. Um, four and a half, I guess, to be at Western. Um, I just moved to the Seattle area, actually. Um, and this is my last semester, the last class that I have to take before I graduate. Um, so I live in the Seattle area in a town called Issaquah. Um, let's see. My post-college plans, um, I do intend to go to graduate school um, and get a degree in public administration um, and nonprofit administration. Um, so for now, though, I'm taking a couple of years off to work and get more experience in my field and do things that I really love to do because I've been in school consecutively for what, I guess it's 16, 17 years now, probably maybe more than that. Um, so I feel like I deserve a little bit of a break, <laughs> even though I love school a lot. Um, right now I am working full time at an organization called the Center for the Living City. Um, I work from home. Um, because it's out based from Salt Lake City. It's actually a, um, a fellowship that I got with this organization. Um, basically what I do is I work, our organization has partnered with Girl Scouts right now to do programming to get more girls civically engaged and out in their communities. Um, um, so yeah, I'm writing programs for that and then um, I get to travel a lot this year which is really awesome. Um, for that job to go to conferences and kind of get the word out about our um, about our programming. So that's really cool. It's a perfect job for me. I love it. Um, hoping to get to stick around there for a few years at least. Um, uh, I live on my own. I am single. Um, I have two roommates and a cat. Um, I am soon to be getting a dog, which is really exciting for me. Um, uh, let's see. I talked about my job. Um, for hobbies and interests, uh, I do, I teach skiing on the weekends, um, at the pass up here in, um, Seattle, the Seattle area, so that's pretty fun. Um, I like to read crime novels, um, and go hiking whenever I get the chance. My cat walks on a leash and loves to go hiking, so I do that with her a lot. Um, I, as far as topics we talk about in this class, I'm really interested in genetics, um, and biology sort of, um, things that have to do with, like I said, like genetics, um, is something that's really interesting to me. Um, I have a special interest in alternative reproduction, um, so it's always really interesting to me to learn more about, um, ways that, um, we create life. Um, so... That's really cool to me, um, so that's kind of a special interest that I have that I would love to do a little more research on, I guess. Um, I am not the first person in my family to go to college. Um, both of my parents are actually WKU alumni. They met at Western, and so I'm a WKU legacy, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, my brother's actually um, in his first year at the Kelly Autism Program at Western. Um, as well. Um, I did come to college straight from high school. Um, I just loved school too much, and that's what everybody expected me to do anyway, <laughs> but I did it. Uh, I changed my major quite a few times, but ended up choosing a double major in Spanish and Outdoor Recreation Administration. Um, I am also an Honors College student um, and did my thesis on Older Girl Retention and Girl Scouting and um, Promising Practices for Programming um, for Girl Scouts. So that's definitely something I'm really interested in. Um, I do know how to use Blackboard. I've taken a few online classes. So um, yeah, let's see one unique or unusual weird thing. I guess, like I said earlier, usually what I use as my fun fact is um, my cat liking to walk on a leash and going hiking with me. So it's definitely probably a little bit unique at least. Um, 
So yeah, that's a little bit about me, and I'm excited for this semester to be finishing up with undergrad. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this class. Thank you. Have a good day.